Hey there, movie lovers. Welcome to a very special episode of Real Real Talk. I am your host, Josh Bell, and today we're diving into the captivating world of cinema with the epic drama Deer Hunter. Released back in 1978, this film has etched itself into the annals of cinematic history and continues to stir emotions and provoke thought. So let's embark on this deep dive into the Deer Hunter. Deer Hunter is a 1978 epic drama directed by Michael Cimino. It follows the lives of three friends from a small steelworking town in Pennsylvania and their experiences during and after the Vietnam War. The film introduces us to Michael, played by Robert De Niro, Stephen, played by John Savage, and Nick, played by Christopher Walken. These friends share a strong bond and often go deer hunting in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Their lives take a dramatic turn when they are drafted to serve in the Vietnam War. The film depicts their harrowing experiences in the war, including the horrors of combat and the psychological toll it takes on them. One of the most intense sequences in the film involves a game of Russian roulette, adding to the emotional intensity. Upon their return home, the film explores the physical and psychological scars they carry with them, as well as the impact of the war on their relationships and the community they once knew. The Deer Hunter is a powerful narrative that delves into the themes of friendship, trauma, and the struggle to find meaning and connection in the face of adversity. It's a heartbreaking and deeply moving portrayal of the human experience during and after the Vietnam War. The Deer Hunter is an exploration of the visual and stylistic aesthetics that create a striking and immersive cinematic experience. Directed by Michael Cimino and brought to life through the cinematography of Vilmos Zygmunt, the film boasts an exceptional level of visual richness. The film artfully contrasts the serene beauty of the Pennsylvania mountains, where the story begins, with the stark brutality of the Vietnam War. The cinematography pays meticulous attention to detail, allowing the audience to fully immerse themselves in two very different worlds of the film. The visuals capture the tranquility of deer hunting in Pennsylvania, juxtaposed with the chaos and brutality of the Vietnam War. This contrast underscores the character journeys from the familiar to the unfamiliar, from innocence to experience, providing a powerful emotional impact to the viewer. Moreover, the film's use of lighting and color further contributes to the aesthetics. The Pennsylvania sequences are bathed in warm, earthy tones, evoking a sense of nostalgia and comfort in contrast. Scenes set in the Vietnam area are shrouded in cooler, muted colors, emphasizing the starkness and the brutality of war. These color choices add depth and meaning to the film's visuals. The Deer Hunter is a testament to the power of aesthetics in cinema, using visuals to tell a compelling story, evoke emotions, and immerse the audience in the world it portrays. The film's aesthetics continue to resonate with viewers like myself, making it a visually captivating masterpiece in the history of cinema. The score for The Deer Hunter plays a pivotal role in enhancing that emotional depth of the film. It was composed by Stanley Myers. The music is haunting and evocative, perfectly complementing the heavy themes in explored in the story. Myers' score serves as an emotional anchor for the film, effectively conveying the range of emotions felt by the characters and experienced by us, the audience. It plays a crucial role in shaping the atmosphere and capturing the essence of each scene. Throughout the movie, Meyer's music adds a layer of depth to the narrative and moments of camaraderie and joy. The score reflects the character's sense of unity and happiness. Conversely, during the harrowing scenes of war and trauma, the music intensifies, heightening that emotional impact and leaving a lasting impression on the audience. The score's ability to resonate long after the film has ended is a testament to the effectiveness enhancing the storytelling and remains an integral part of the film and contributes significantly to the film's enduring impact, 
making it a powerful accompaniment to the narratives. The Deer Hunter delves into several profound thematic elements that contribute to its emotional depth and lasting impact. Let's take a look at some. First, at its core, the film is a poignant exploration of the unbreakable bonds of friendship. The central characters, Michael, Stephen, and Nick, share a deep and enduring connection that is put to the test by the horrors of the war. Their reliance on each other for support and comfort during wartime, and their ability to find solace in their friendship upon returning home, are central themes of the film. It portrays the strength and resilience that can be found in the bonds of friendship, the film also bravely tackles the devastating impact of war on the mental health of soldiers. The characters grapple with trauma, guilt, and a profound sense of displacement upon their return from Vietnam. This film provides a raw, unflinching portrayal of the psychological toll of combat, shedding light on the struggles faced by many veterans. The film also explores the concept of community and its influence on our individual identity. The close-knit steelworking town of Clarington, Pennsylvania, where the characters come from, is portrayed as an integral character in the story. The camaraderie of the community and the shared experiences of the characters are vital to the story. It reflects how one's sense of self and identity is intricately tied to the community where they belong. The film is also a reflection of the cultural and historical context of the 1970s. It resonated with audiences during a time when the wounds of the war were still fresh in the nation's consciousness. The film provides a powerful commentary on the era, shedding light on the impact of the war and on both the soldiers who served and their hometown. It serves as a reflection of the cultural and historical context of the period. All these thematic elements add depth and resonance to the film. The Deer Hunter prompts contemplation and discussion about the human experience during times of conflict and personal struggle, and it remains a powerful exploration of friendship, trauma, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. A movie is nothing without its cast and crew, and The Deer Hunter boasts an exceptional group whose contributions played a pivotal role in creating this cinematic experience. Robert De Niro is one of the most celebrated actors in history, takes on the central role of Michael. His portrayal is a testament to his remarkable acting skills. He brings depth and authenticity to the character, capturing the complexities of a young man profoundly affected by the Vietnam War. Christopher Watkins' portrayal of Nick, Michael's close friend, earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Watkins' performance is poignant and emotionally charged, reflecting the psychological toll that war has on soldiers. Meryl Streep, a multiple Academy Award winner, plays Linda, the love interest of both Michael and Nick. Her performance adds a layer of emotional depth to the film, exploring the impact of war on relationships and the resilience of the human spirit. John Savage's portrayal of Stephen, another friend of Michael and Nick, offers a poignant perspective on the psychological trauma experienced by soldiers during and after the war. And we can't forget John Cazale, who delivers a compelling performance as Stan, a member of the group of friends heading to the Vietnam War. Cazale, known for his roles in other classic films like The Godfather and The Godfather Part II, adds to the film's exceptional ensemble cast. Director Michael Cimino's vision and direction play a crucial role in creating the emotional intensity and the authentic feel of The Deer Hunter. The film's meticulous attention to detail and the rawness of its characters are a testament to Samino's directorial talent. Derek Washburn's screenplay forms the heart of the film. His writing skillfully navigates the complexities of friendship, the horrors of war, and the emotional scars left on those who serve. Cinematographer Vilmos Zygmunt's work in The Deer Hunter captures the stark beauty of the Pennsylvania landscape and the harrowing intensity of the Vietnam War sequences. 
The cinematography contributes greatly to the visual storytelling of the film. And Stanley Myers, the composer of the film, his haunting and memorable score adds to the emotional impact of the story, enhancing the dramatic and reflective moments of the film. It's collaborative efforts like this that result in the powerful and emotionally resonant cinematic experience. The group crafts a film that continues to be celebrated for its compelling characters and its exploration of the human experience during times of conflict. The film's exceptional performances and the dedication of its creators have solidified its place as an iconic piece of cinematic history. While The Deer Hunter is undeniably a masterpiece, it's not without its shortcomings or perceived shortcomings. It's important to acknowledge these aspects that have been subject to criticism and some debate. One of the most common criticisms you'll hear of the film is its extended runtime. Clocking in at over three hours, the film demands a significant investment of time and patience from its viewers. Some argue that it could have benefited from tighter editing, especially in the second act where the pacing can feel slower. The Deer Hunter has faced controversy and criticism for its portrayal of the Vietnam War. While it captures the psychological toll on soldiers, some viewers argue that it presents a one-sided view and doesn't delve into the, the more broad political or historical context. This has sparked debates about the film's accuracy and representation of war. Now, the film primarily focuses on its male characters, leaving the female characters with comparatively limited development. Linda, played by Meryl Streep, is an important figure in the story, but her character could have been explored in more depth. This had led to some discussion about the film's treatment of the female characters. The intense Russian roulette scenes in the film have been both praised for their tension and criticized for their portrayal of the deadly game. Some argue that the scenes may exaggerate the prevalence of this practice during the war. And now, while some characters in the film undergo significant development, others are left with less clear character arcs and resolution. This can lead to questions about their ultimate fates and emotional resolutions. So it is very important to always consider these shortcomings within the broader context of the film's artistic and storytelling choices. While The Deer Hunter may not be without those flaws, its impact and power in addressing themes of friendship, trauma, and identity cannot be denied. These shortcomings are points of discussion that have contributed to the film's lasting legacy and ongoing conversations in the world of cinema. All right, let's change things up a little bit and look at some cool trivia about The Deer Hunter so we can get a deeper understanding of this iconic film. Now, here's a real nail biter. In one of the most intense moments in the film, the actors, including Christopher Walken and Robert De Niro, actually played the risky game of Russian roulette. This added an extra layer of tension and authenticity to the movie's intense moments. The Deer Hunter drew its inspiration from a 1967 Life magazine article by Michael Cimino titled One Shot Away. The article delved into the impact of the Vietnam War on steelworkers in Pennsylvania and formed the basis for the film's narrative and characters. The film also marked a significant milestone in Meryl Streep's illustrious career. She received her first Academy Award nomination for her role as Linda in the film. It was the beginning of a journey to becoming one of Hollywood's most celebrated actresses. The film is also notable as the last film of John Cazale, who portrayed Stan. Cazale, known for her roles in the classics like The Godfather, Godfather Part II, and Dog Day Afternoon, tragically passed away shortly after filming. His performances in these iconic films left a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. Then there's Robert De Niro, who's always famous for his dedication to his roles, went to great lengths to prepare for his role as a steelworker in the film. He even worked in a steel mill for several weeks, showcasing his commitment to authenticity and character immersion. 
The film's deer hunting sequences were shot in the rugged landscapes of the Cascade Mountains in Washington State. These visually stunning surroundings added to the film's authenticity, capturing the camaraderie of the characters in the tranquil Pennsylvania mountains. And then The Deer Hunter was both celebrated and criticized. Some praised its powerful storytelling, while others took issue with its portrayal of the Vietnam War, arguing it presented the one-sided view. This controversy fueled debates and discussions around the film. But as I've said many times before, the tidbits of trivia shed light on the film's history and the incredible dedication of the cast and crew. The Deer Hunter remains a cinematic gem known for its authentic storytelling, impactful performances, and its ability to provoke deep thoughts and discussions. In summary, The Deer Hunter is a timeless masterpiece that delves into the complexities of friendship, the toll of war on the human psyche, and the indomitable human spirit. With its powerful performances, stunning visuals, and thought-provoking themes, it continues to resonate with audiences. For our critical rating, we're giving Deer Hunter a perfect 10 out of 10. Its profound impact on filmmaking, its exploration of war and trauma, and its commitment to authenticity make it a true cinematic treasure. I want to thank you all with, once again for joining us on this episode of The Real Real Talk. We dove deep into the heart-wrenching and thought-provoking film The Deer Hunter. If you have any questions, comments, or you'd just like to suggest a film for us to review, please reach out. The email is therealrealtalk at gmail.com. You can also connect with us on Twitter at realrealtalkpod and on Instagram at Real Real Talk. In our next episode, we're going to go way back and review the silent classic Safety Last that promises laughter and suspense as we explore the daring feats of Harold Lloyd. Until then, keep watching, keep loving, and keep those reels rolling. <laughs>